What's going on, world? It's your boy Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be continuing our 12th house series, taking a look at the blind spot of each rising sign in their 12th house, and just a couple of things you know you want to look out for or be aware of uh, with your rising sign in 12th house, okay? So, before we get all the way into it, I want to give a reminder feel free to support me and this channel by joining. Uh, my Patreon community that comes with a plethora of benefits and perks, including in exclusive content, you know, like this, as well as discounts and all of that. And really, we're moving into a, a period where it's going to be essential to support your creators. All right. So I'd appreciate it if you join my Patreon and all of that. So let's get into it. All right. First thing you want to know about Leo Rising's 12th house being in Cancer, ruled by the moon. All right. And I thought about it. I was like, should I save this for the, the last one or should I come right out and with this one? I'm coming right out with it. So for Leo, Leo is the sign corresponding to our, our offspring and the joy and admiration and the pride that, you know, comes with that. And then ultimately, like purpose, Right. We, we could say, and keep in mind, different strokes are different folks, but one of the natural purposes in life is to reproduce, okay, and have that offspring reflect that creative essence of yours, and then it get it naturally that, even if you were never anything in life, being a parent would give you an actual I, creative identity, okay? I'm a father. Oh, I'm such and such as father. Okay? And you see how what that can do for one's ego? So, with that said, first thing when Leo rises, men are women. Because, yeah, women do this stuff too. Okay? And I'm Jamaican, I know. Um, but this is being a deadbeat. Leo rises. It's, it's, not, it's just kind of working with you to like the forces I want to say are, are kind of making that as to where it may be difficult to have that relationship with your child, how you want it, how your ego wants it or whatever. So in a, in a very direct way here, Leo rising men or women when too much in uh, this 12th house is, is working a little too strong and planets don't need to be here for it to be working strong. Um, they will up and, and go. They will up and, and abandon their children. They can be present, but not present. Okay. And still uh, chasing their own egoistic desires and all of that. Okay. So naturally, if you, this is me talking to the, the, the Leo rising person. Okay, so this is this is a potential that exists within you. Now, you may be out there and saying, well, my father or my mom did this to me, so I wouldn't do it. And that's essentially the point. Okay, if, if you've experienced that, then it's a, at a 10 times greater clip that that karmic pattern needs to end with you. Hence why you're Leo rising. Okay, so like I said, Lee, uh, Leo rising uh, undoing is not being there for your children. Now, I'm going to go a little bit deeper with this. Um, being there does not mean financially. Depending on the actual child one has, they're going to require or have different needs. So how this also can play out is in the sense of like your child resents you for particular reasons and the stronger your personality is right the stronger that sun to go with that rising that may be why and you it may be it may be a thing where it's like all my movements were to make sure you were good well that may be true in some way but in actuality you were ser you were serving yourself which we all got to do here in life but you also have to tune into what that kid needs and just you know in life shit happens man like successful people have to sacrifice lots of things time energy uh and all of that emotional connections 
traditional things to do what they got to do. So a lot of times, like I said, this is something that that'll play out or come with that Leo energy. So I say this, this is for anyone who's really chasing uh, a dream or, or chasing the dream to really self actualize themselves. If you have children, okay, or this can also extend to marriage and stuff too, but more emphasis on the children part, there can be some resentments there. Okay. So what happens, what happens if, if, if there's 12th house, if there's 12th house energy here for this, this Leo rising? Well, when planets come into the 12th house here, it can indicate a couple of things here, but, and I'm just going to cut through to the one that's uh, pretty, pretty much most prominent. And that is being, let's say a, uh, mama's boy or mama's girl being too attached to one's family and ultimately this the cancer here in the 12th is, is great this is great if you have some like if you have planets and great dignity in your 12th house in cancer you are really protected in the spirit realm okay um you're you're protected by feminine energy and likely you know depending on your family into there's there's great karma there in the sense of evolution, this can be a hindrance. This, remember, 12th house is what we're supposed to let go. So this can be as simple as this. You don't reach your fullness or your potential simply because you don't create enough space between you and your family, or you don't um, change the relationship. And this is simply some people are spoiled. If you are spoiled in life, I'm me, Gemini Brown, my mother, I'm moon in the first. My mom spoiled, spoiled me. Not, not for nothing. Like I, I, you know, for good reason. I, I worked hard and stuff like that. However, I'm gonna give real job. When I got to a certain age and I realized that like, yo, I gotta be as a man. I gotta do certain things. I can't have her doing that for me. And here I am, you know what I'm saying? A grown, functional ass man because I recognize within myself that like, yo, this is great, but this can be limiting towards my overall evolution. So I'm gonna go here for the emphasis on the men here. Fellas with this, like I said, we got planets here. You need to, you need to be aware of your mommy issues, even if they're not apparent um, and not projecting that onto a partner, neediness. OK, there's a layer of self-sufficiency that has to be had with this uh, position. OK. All right. So last thing here with Leo, with Le uh, Leo rising cancer in in the 12, uh, 12 house here that I want to mention is sensitivity. But I want to spin it to you in a sense like this. Um, cancer is is. is it's the crab, right? Soft on the inside, shell on the outside. With here, cancer in the 12, you are sensitive. You are sensitive. And, you know, your ego isn't um, in, indefensible, right? So the real thing here with, with Leo has to, Leo has to be willing to take criticism. Because remember, what's, what's the second house? Virgo. Being able to discriminate what is something of value to you. And I want to look at it in the sense, you know, like Leo's the archetype of the king. No one tells, really tells the fucking king what's what. They let his ego run amok, which can lead towards narcissism and uh, being emotionally disconnected and all of that. So if you can have... What you want to hear is like if you have people in your life that are honest with you and that that are not maliciously uh, tearing down your ego, but like telling you what's what you are. You need to accept that energy um, going away from people, going away from people. Got to get away from that. Right? Going away from people who tell who tell you things you don't want to hear is playing towards your own ego all right and ultimately that's a, a self-defeating thing so be open towards 
not just criticism, but honestly, you want people to be real with you. All right. This is my interpretation of Cancer in the 12. Hope you guys enjoyed. All my Leo Risings, chime in. Let me know what you think. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you could do so now. Join the Patreon. Uh, if you need a reading, holla at me. Till next time, peace.